this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a bookmark. Okay, so I picked leopard print for my bookmark. And what you're going to need is an X-Acto knife, duct tape, and some clear tape. So that way it won't mess up. Okay. So then what you do, you take your duct tape, and it depends how long you want your bookmark. So I'm going to do mine about 8 inches. So then what I'm going to be doing is so that's already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 right here. And let me just cut it. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cut it right there. There. Okay. There we go. And so then, so there's your bookmark. Ah. And I like mine thin. So all I'm going to be doing is just flipping it over. Some people like to do that, but yeah, and I'm one of those people, just so you know. And you should want some excess duct tape, and I'll tell you why in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so then the excess duct tape actually give it, gives it, it makes it a little bit more prettier. I think if you fold it over, if you like crazy. So that way it's like that, and then you just fold over all of your excess, or cut it, whichever, whichever one you prefer. Since this is too tiny and too, and it's not really even, I'm just gonna cut it right there. So then, there's some more, and I'm just gonna cut that off right now. And some, that's off. Okay, so then there is your bookmark. <clears throat> now I'm going to get a whole different design. And this is going to be... I'm going to choose... A, hmm. Gold. I chose gold because a lot of my... A lot of... What I like a lot, a lot, a lot is a pattern with a solid color that really shows it. So I'm just going to set it right here because it's kind of messy so i'm just gonna cut it from right here so it's okay so then i'm gonna take the duct tape and i'm gonna put it in about six inches five inches i don't really know i don't know how much i'm gonna want to use i think about five i think but i'm not positive okay because i'm just gonna cut them in half and it's gonna be neater, I'm just, you know, cutting it. It's not really that pretty though. Okay, so anyways, I did that. Now I'm just gonna pick it up and make it a little bit neater so that when I do it, the design it won't interfere with the picture. Okay, so I did it about four inches long. Dang it. And it's about two inches wide and four inches long. Okay, so there. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this a little bit even. I'm going to throw this away once I get that out. See, so now it's a little bit straighter. Okay, so I'm going to cut it with the inches wrong way. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. And then cut it this way. This is for my designs I'm going to be using. You know, I just do it like that and do it like that. So that way I have a square for each of them. See, so that way there's one square. And I'm going to take the bookmark and I'm just going to place it right here. So that's pretty cool. Then I'm going to take the other one, the next piece. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other one. 
just gonna put it a little bit of a space and it's about um one inch so i'm skipping one inch and then the pieces are about an inch so i'm using about three inches about two inches at a time okay i'm going to my inch and i'm always going to place them in the middle see what i'm doing I think it's easier just to do that. So there's another one. And then I've done the whole row. Okay, and then let's put it on there. Flip it over. Flip it over like that. Okay, and then I just put it over again. About near the top. There, and then I'm going to do it again. Okay, I'm going to do it again. So that way I already have a front and half of the back. And I'm going to use this remainder piece. I'll show you when I get there. See, I'm going to have one extra piece. Ah. Okay, so there, there you go. And then you just take the remainder piece, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it at the bottom that much, and I'm gonna cut half of it off. So it's like that. I get the piece, and then you're just gonna. Put it on the end and just flip it over. Put it again on the other side. Flip it over. Okay, and then that is your duct tape bookmark. Okay, this is going to go on sale for 50 cents. I can make any design. I have any color. I have, a, I have tons of solid colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, gray, brown. And then what? after that, what you do is you take your little clear mask and tape and you find the end. Sometimes it's kind of hard. It takes a while, but anyways... Okay, so I found, I think I may have found it. It's really hard because of the, because it's clear. Okay, so I finally got it. See, this is the clear tape. And so, I'm going to put it right here. So that way I can just fold it over. Okay, and then let me just cut it at about that much. Okay, and so then let me just cut it. end and you put it right there okay so it goes with a great deal okay ah so then you get your clear tape there you go If you have any excess stock tape, then just fold it over, and then you take the other piece. Ah. And the reason why I'm not cutting off this, ah, right here, let me just get it back. Okay. And so you just get the, get the clear tape and you try not to put 
a lot of of it. So you put try to put as less as you can for the clear tape. And so yeah, there is your duct tape bookmark. If you want the, to customize it, it's five dollars per if it's anything. Unless it's the bookmark, if you want to customize the bookmark, then it's two dollars. But if you just want me to surprise you, then it's fifty cents. You can tell me your style, like what you like and stuff, and I can just make you that your style, and it'll still be two dollars. So yeah, guys, that's it. Bye.